All right, so I guess we just have to uh, open it up and see what is wrong inside. Um, for the record, I own this for 13 years. I think, you know, and we have been using it very regularly. So um, I have no complaint for the reliability. And then we like it. So hopefully that's something that I can repair inside. I have never opened up one of these before. Um, for what I have been researching, probably not that difficult. But uh, we'll see. Those are the things that I prepared for uh, this job. Various size of a screwdriver with a flip head or flat head. Small plier. Punch to take out some of the pins. A little hammer. Definitely a glove. For what I know, the grease inside is kicked it very thick. And I intended to have them replaced. So some of the container and uh, some uh, obstacle stick that I can dispose when I remove the grease. And very important. I prepared a stack of these uh, old cloths that I um, prepared to use to clean up the inside and have the grease replaced. So that's a must, right? All right, let's get started. To shorten the length of this video and to make it more interesting, I've decided to speed up some part of the playback of this video. Instead, I'll spend more time in some key areas to show you the interesting things that I found. Alright, with all the screws and uh, cable loosen, we're ready to uh, remove them. Open it up for the first time. Take that in the ground glove. Wow. Well, we're going to clean up all this grease. And then we'll see which gear is the problem. Okay, it's a messy operation. <laughs> I'm serious. These old grease is ugly and smell bad. Definitely need to change it. Very messy process to clean the grease. Okay, a few minutes and uh, I think I kind of noticed a problem here while I was cleaning it I can definitely see this gear here doesn't look very normal I think it's completely wear down looks to me that way I need to go online and check it and see how it is but and that is supposed to be you know, engaging with this gear here to dry the attachment hub. This one also doesn't look... Well, this one probably okay, I'm not sure. Alright, so... Based on... The label inside here and the part number. I searched it online. On the diagram. These are the two parts that very likely have a problem. Actually, they sell as a set. So I will have to replace both of them. Uh, it's older right now, so it takes a few days to arrive. And I'm also looking at it. In order to remove this piece of gear, I will have to remove this structure. And there's a pin there to remove. And also to take this out. So um, let me do it right now and then wait for the new gear to arrive.
All right, so uh, I don't know why what happened in here. This gear is supposed to be slide right out uh, according to the diagram or where I checked. But I even tried to use the screwdriver. I couldn't pry it out. It moved freely though. So um, I think the next step I can do is just use the punch to try to punch it out and see if I can tap it and uh, slide the whole thing out and see what, it, what is wrong with that. Um, the other thing is this thing is so messy, so greasy. I'm all out of gloves, so I have a new stack of, I have a new stack of uh, clothes in here. It's gonna get messy from, from here on. The factory hub gear is actually very tightly installed. It took a little bit more force than I have expected to tap it out. Alright, I got it out. Huh. Not that smooth. There's some groove lines in here. I wonder if that's how they uh, put it in. Well, we'll compare it when we get the new parts in. But from the picture that I see from the... From the site, I don't... I don't see these kind of groove lines in here. I hope you guys can see it. And the part number is here too. Just in case if you couldn't find the part number to order, you take it out, you will see the part numbers right here. Just gotta remove this structure in here. And it's hold, on, hold down with uh, three Phillips screws. So. That's easy. Mm, let's try to re clean this up. Since we're gonna re grease the whole thing anyway. Alright. Now we're gonna remove this guy, so. Well, that's pretty good. Slide right out. Woohoo! Woohoo! Well, don't forget, don't drop this. Well, let me put it right here for now. That's why I'm saying you need a stack and stack of uh, cloths to clean up. Uh, don't lose this piece of uh, washer in here. Touch that one. Oh, it's just breezy and dirty. Yeah, it's very obvious. I mean, the gear is completely wear out. This one. Not so much on this one, but this one is. I don't know if we can tell. It's kind of, it's never, never gonna make gear like this. We'll compare it when we have the new one. Uh, again, you need to know reference on the part number, they're always on the gear, on the factory one. Right? All right, guys, so after waiting for 10 something days, I finally received the new gear. I don't have those express services, so I have to wait. So, um, and also the greases too. Uh, this is a great grease that I have uh, picked. Uh, there's some factory grease that's just really big, and this is about 14 ounce, or part of you is about half a two or maybe more, because I'm really gonna kick the whole system with it. Uh, make sure it's a foot grace grease, I think it's fine, very nice. Uh, read some good review about it, so I'll pick this one. Um, let's take a look at the gear. So this is the old one, as you can see. 
and compared to the new one. See the wear in here? This area? Huge difference, so this is definitely gone. Now this is the interesting thing. This is the old gear for the hop. Um, it's actually it's not wearing that bad. But still, the main difference is, see the groups lines here? It's all smooth in here. So, this is the OEM part, and uh, supposed to be the replacement, but they're not exactly the same. Maybe my unit is very old, that's the reason. I'm, I'm not so sure. But I think it will work. I checked with the vendor, they confirmed it works. So, uh, I'm going to install it and we'll find out soon, right? So, everything's ready. Um, let's just put it back together then. So, I don't have a grease gun, so I'm just going to use this aluminum uh, piece to use a scoop to scoop it up and uh, continue use this uh, popsicle stick to uh, smash it around there. That's what the inside is looking like. Alright. Look at that color. Huge difference, isn't it? Old grease, new grease. I'm not too concerned mix, mixing the old grease with new grease. Um, I believe we all food gray. Uh, the thing is, you know, there's no way I can clean it up really good unless I use some solvent. But most of the solvent that I know, they're not food gray. So um, I pretty much just use a use paper towel or whatever to clean as much as I can. Here I'm just putting the grease on the gear while installing them back to the unit. The new grease is much much better, no smell at all, but it is still very sticky and messy. The installation is not hard, just need a little bit of patience to deal with the messy grease. Alright, so uh, putting back the gear is not that difficult. Now I don't have any proper, I couldn't find any proper instruction on how to put the grease on. So I'm just basically using both hands and you put some grease on and then you spin the gear. So every crack will fill it with uh, the grease. Um, this is 14 ounce tube, That's half of them is use so it's definitely more than six ounces um, on both sides. Finally we're the last step to put everything back together. The entire assembly and assembly process is not difficult as I have watched some instructional videos a few times and pretty much memorized the whole process. If you're interested you can find the link to the video that I have watched it in the description below. Okay, I have everything put back together. Power is connected. Let's see if they get a spin inside. Hey, hey. looks good. Let's give it a test. 
Ho 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 ho! Alright, we're back in business. Okay, so um, I think the repair is finished. Um, this actually is not a very difficult repair. Um, I'll rate it probably 3 or 4 out of 10 of difficulty. Um, the tools are always very uh, simple as well. Uh, the only part that I don't really like it is it's so messy with the grease uh, to remove it and replace it. But if you're in a situation that you don't need to replace the grease, it's probably not that bad. Um, the cost uh, for the part and the grease is, I think I spent probably about $60, something like that. Uh, it's not so bad, I mean, for the unit that I use for 10 years, everything else seems to be very good. Okay guys, um, thank you for watching my video. Hopefully this video has proved to be useful for you. Please like, share, and uh, subscribe if you have not done so. I'll definitely post more interesting videos for you guys later. See you in the next video. Oh, wow. Give us a meal.